Hello everyone. In this video lecture, let us understand module 2, modules and ports. In this lecture, let us understand how to connect ports during instantiation and hierarchical name referencing. Connecting ports to external signals. Now, normally when we do instantiations, that is when we call a module within another module, there are two methods of making connections between the port signals in the module instantiations. So the two methods in which we can connect ports to external signals are the first method is connection by ordered list or instantiation by order and the second one is connection by name or instantiation by name. These two methods cannot be mixed. So we should use either connecting the port list by an order or connecting the port list by name. Let us look into each one of them individually. First method. In the first method which is connecting the ports by the ordered list or instantiation by order, the signals which need to be connected, that is if you are calling a module within another module, we pass some parameters, the port list. So those signals must appear in the module in the same order as they are in the port list in the module definition. So to understand this, let us take the example of a full adder. We have the top module and the full adder module. So let's look into the code of this. So we have module, module name, module name here is full adder 4 and we list the port list. Some C out A, B, C in are the port terminal list. So it is listing all the inputs over here, input and output variables. And then we declare the input variables A and B. Since it is a 4 bit adder, we have used a vector representation 3 is to down, 3 is to 0. And we declare the separate single bit input C in. We declare the 4 bit sum output and the single bit sum C out output. So this is the normal declaration. Now let us not get into the internals or the actual logic of the adder. This is the end module. So we have not shown any lines of code which does addition. It's just declaration of the code with the input and output ports. Now imagine we have the second module. If we observe here, we have another module, monus module top. This top module instantiates the full adder module. Let's declare, let's assume this top module acts like the stimulus module which gives inputs. So all the input variables in the main module are declared as registered in the stimulus module. So this we have understood in the previous sessions. So all the input variables must be declared as a register and all the output variables must be declared as wired. So this declaration is done, the same declarations. The inputs can have the same names or different names. I have just changed cases here. The, this is smaller case, this is upper case. Now while we are doing instantiation, so within the top module, if you look into this diagram, we can observe this outer block is the top module. This module calls or invokes or instantiates this full adder 4. So when we call this module, it is important to pass parameters between them. The way we pass parameters is very important because we want the correct input and correct output to match. So this method that we are seeing is connecting by ordered list. So as the name itself tells here, the order of the variables we write here. So instantiation is done by writing the name of the module, full add of for the same name should be written, followed by an instance name, which is again user defined, any name can be given here, followed by the port list. This port list that we write here should be in the same order as that of the main module. So the main module variable is sum, small case letter sum. In the stimulus module, we have replaced that sum with a capital sum. So if we had taken a different name, the same name should be written here. So since the main module has sum as the first uh, port list parameter, we have to write the same order here. Then we have C out. Similarly, we have listed C out. Then we have A, B, C in, A, B, C in, meaning to say, we have matched these register and wire variables to these inputs. Whatever names we might have chosen, according to those names, we have to match the order in which the variables are written in the main module. So this is connecting ports by 
ordered list that is we are connecting the ports in the same order as they are listed in the main module so we are passing the parameters in the same order if we interchange the order we may get unexpected results so we have to take care of connecting the ports by order in the second method which is connecting ports by name which is also known as instantiation by name so let us assume there are large designs where we have more than hundreds of inputs so remembering the order of the input looking into the main module and remembering the order of those ports input output ports is highly impractical and there's always chance of an error especially when we have more inputs to deal with so for such cases port list connecting the port list by name is the best method because in this case we are not going to bother about the order we can interchange the order also let us look back to the same code that we had looked earlier so we have the four bit full adder we have the inputs outputs declared the same set of this these are the same set of lines we had declared then we are declaring the module top we have declared all the input variables as register and output variables as wire now let's do the instantiation let's invoke or let's call the main module full adder 4 in this stimulus block top so now let us observe how the difference is full adder 4 the name of the module which is same as the name here then we have the instance name fa1 it can be anything let's observe here this small a input has been replaced as a capital A here and this small b input has been replaced as a capital B input here. So now in connecting ports by name we have to use the dot operator. We write the dot operator followed by the main module input. So dot A this followed by within the parenthesis what is the name you are using in the top module or the stimulus module so we have used a so this a will get mapped with this a only then dot c out is the name here in the main module in the top module we have named that as capital letter c out so whatever name we have taken that name has to be written over here remember there is no rule that this name and this name should match they can be different I have just changed the cases just to differentiate between the main module and the top module. So whatever name, let's say we have called this as add. Then you should write here dot sum with a parenthesis add add. So we are just trying to tell this variable in the main module is mapped to this variable in the stimulus module. So if you observe here, the order does not match. We have taken sum c out a b c in, but here we have taken a c out b sum c in. So we have mixed them up. So even if we have mixed the order, the program works perfectly fine because this is connecting ports by name so the ports are getting mapped internally with the dot and the parenthesis operator they are getting mapped appropriately so irrespective of the order when you have multiple inputs it's just the matter of mapping these particular input variables or output variables the next topic in this particular session that we are going to study is the hierarchical names so basically when we have studied the design methodologies, we have two types of design methodology, the top down design methodology and the bottom up design methodology. So there's a hierarchy. So in the top down design methodology, we have a top level block, which is divided into sub blocks, which is further divided into leaf sets. So there's a hierarchy that we follow. So the hi hierarchical names can be given at every stage. And this hierarchical name referencing will al allow every identifier in the design hierarchy with a unique name meaning to say at every different stage of the hierarchy we can assign a different name using an identifier so let's see an example to understand this better the first rule that we need to remember is a hierarchical name it's a list of identifiers which is separated by dots and the top level module which is which calls all other sub blocks but no other module calls this top level block is called as the root module root module is one who is not called by any other module so this top level block is normally not called by any other module that is the root module 
Let's take an example to understand how hierarchical names are given. Consider there is a stimulus block. Normally, the, there are two blocks. One is the stimulus block, the other one is the design block. Stimulus block calls the design block to pass input in values. So, no one calls the stimulus block. So, stimulus block is not called by any other block. So, this is called as the root level. This is the root module or the top level module. This stimulus block instantiates or calls another sub block. So, this comes under that. Let's say this stimulus block calls the SR latch program. This is the module one which is calling. So, this is the name of this instance where we call the SR latch. This stimulus module has some set of inputs q let's say these are the variables of the stimulus block q q bar set reset so these are the variables of the stimulus block similarly this sr latch that we have written has some set of inputs and it has some set of variables so in this sr latch gate level representation which we have discussed in the previous sessions sr latch calls the NAND instantiation. So it calls two NAND gates, two cross coupled NAND gates SR latch which is what we are discussing now. So this module calls two NAND gates whose names are N1 and N2 which we have given and this SR latch also has some set of variables Q, Q bar, S and R. So these are the signals of the SR latch. So the small case letters signals are the signals or variables of the stimulus block. Now let us see how we can give hierarchical names at every stage. So stimulus is the top level module or the root module because it's not instantiated anywhere else. So the identifiers in the module, identifiers are nothing but user defined name which is given as Q, Q bar, set, reset which is there. And the root module instantiates the SR latch M1 module. So this we have understood. And this M1 calls two other modules N1 and N2, gate primitives. This Q, Q bar, S and R are the signals in instance M1. So this is what we have understood from this hierarchy, the design hierarchy. Now let us see how to give these particular hierarchical signals. So stimulus is one of the name. Now if you want to talk to a variable of this block, we can call it as stimulus dot q bar so we know that q bar belongs to stimulus block so hierarchical name referencing allows identifiers to get unique names in the design hierarchy so these are identifiers that is user defined variables these identifiers can get unique names in terms of this hierarchy so every variable here q q bar set reset are variables of the stimulus block so it is direct stimulus dot q dot q bar stimulus dot set stimulus dot reset they are direct now this module is a part of the stimulus block again so we can name this as stimulus dot m1 now when we go down further what do we observe if we have to talk about this variable q q is a part of m1 so it is actually m1 dot q and m1 is a part of the stimulus it's called or instantiated by the stimulus. So we, we list it as stimulus dot m1 dot q. Got it? We let's do one more. Q bar is the variable under m1, module m1. m1 is instantiated by stimulus. So it is stimulus dot m1 dot q bar. Similarly, stimulus dot m1 dot s and stimulus dot m1 dot r. So this is the hierarchy. So stimulus is the root module. Stimulus instantiates M1. M1 has this variable R. So the dot operator is giving, helping us to identify the hierarchy. Next, coming to NAND gates, NAND gate primitives. We have two NAND gates. Stimulus block is instantiating M1, indirectly instantiating these two blocks. So only for the variables we use this listing of stimulus dot M1 dot Q. When they are module instantiations, we directly write stimulus dot N1 and stimulus dot N2 because they are direct gate level primitive instantiations. 
So under hierarchical names, we understood given a design hierarchy and a list of variables, we can give unique names to each identifier using the design hierarchy. So in this video lecture, we understood how to connect ports using by ordered list and by name and what is hierarchical name referencing. Thank you.